which gave women full voting rights beginning in 1920. The campaign for women's suffrage that took force at Seneca Falls Convention in 1842 and 72 years later, women were finally granted the right to vote. So we are familiar with long struggles and those of us who are in the city post Katrina, four years certainly feel like 72 years and we're still pushing forward. But this year marks another historic movement. As we talk about women's rights, as we talk about women opportunities, because what we celebrated earlier this year was the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Restoration Act. Let us give that a round of applause. The legislation was very necessary, very necessary, because pay discrimination still exists in the workplace. Let me just share a little bit about the value of a woman in the workplace, which is really very problematic because when we understand socioeconomic conditions, we must recognize that in the state of Louisiana, we are more than 50% women. In the city of New Orleans, we are more than 50% women. But when you go into the workplace nationally, women make 77 cents to every dollar that a man makes. And in Louisiana, it's a little worse. We only make 65 cents to every dollar that a man makes. So the fight for equal pay for equal work still continues. I want to again thank the AFL-CIO for convening this very meaningful discussion and for Newcomb Center on Women for hosting us as we have this important dialogue.